Hey y'all, Nicole here, your Gulf Coast gal. Got a little bit different of a view of a vlog for you today. Um, the new year is kicking off. This is the first vlog of 2023, and I thought it would be a really fun idea to count down with you the top 10 things I'm looking forward to for Gulf Coast gal in 2023. Are y'all ready? Let's go. So first things first is going to be a zip and fun. I've always wanted to do this. It's located in Gulfport right next to the Gulf Islands water park. I'm really jazzed. Um, it's like a treetops ropes course. You can do zip lining and all those like crazy wooden bridges and all kinds of stuff. And I've always wanted to go and um, have someone vlog or film me while I'm up there and then also vlog with a GoPro. So I've got that on my list. We've already purchased tickets. So that's going to be coming out soon. And I cannot wait. Of course, with all of these ideas and things, I'm going to include some links down below. Um, always do my best to do that for you and uh, connect you with their social media and in case you're interested in doing that and booking a trip before the vlog comes out. Um, the second thing is going to be near and dear to my heart. Now, my dad um, loves crab cakes. It's like his number one favorite food ever. And I thought it would be super fun to do like a crab cake challenge. So we go to all the places along the Mississippi Gulf Coast that have crab cakes that... Um, he can try out and he ranks them. So we'll have like a crab cake challenge. I think it'd be really fun. Um, I have a few on my list so far, but if you have any suggestions on places we should visit and add to the list, feel free to comment down below or send me a message on social. Um, number three, okay, y'all can't, this, it's confession time. I've never been campy before. Can you believe that? Um, I've always wanted to. I don't know why I haven't, but I think my first experience should be a vlog so y'all can go along with me and we can experience this together because I am sure there will be some facial expressions. I'm sure I will say some crazy things and it will be a joy to watch. Um, for me, um, watch back, but also for y'all to enjoy as well. Um, so number three on my list is going to be go camping at Buccaneer State Park. Um, it's over in Waveland area. We did the um, water park that's over there and they have some camping sites too. So that is gonna be number three on my list. Really excited about that. Coming in at number four, something a little bit, a little bit different than camping is going to be um, getting all glammed up, getting all glitzy and going for a nice romantic dinner on the patio at Maison de Leu. It is in Ocean Springs. It's downtown. And um, I've always wanted to go visit. So um, I think that would be a really great like date night or something. We'll have to take the Gulf Coast guy. It just seems like such a beautiful place and a lot of fun to go check out. Um, that's number four. Number five, again, uh, another experience that I'm going to enjoy with a member of the family is going to be um, a trip to Tailwaggers in Diaberville, and we're going to take the one and only Chainsaw. Now, Chainsaw is our dog. Um, we took him to a Shuckers game a while back um, for their Dog on Mondays that he, we used to offer, and I'll try to link that video down below, but he's up for another adventure, and I thought it would be really cool to take him to Tailwaggers. Tailwaggers offers um dog accessories they have a barkery which is like a bakery but for dogs i love puns y'all and um i think that would just be a super fun experience for him he can smell the things and try some treats and we can get him some toys and he would be all for that um number six so that was number five number six i'm really excited about this this is a sneak peek for you um i am planning on launching some products, some Gulf Coast Gal swag and all kinds of fun stuff. Um, this year in 2023, it's going to be super fun. Um, I have planned to like hide some in videos and leave them places. So if you visit, you get a surprise as well, but, um, keep an eye out for that. Um, and if there's any suggestions on things that y'all would actually like to see, please let me know. But we've started small and I've got a couple different lines lined up, no pun intended. And I think it's going to be really, really exciting. I can't wait to show y'all. Oh my goodness. Um, if you do follow me on social, you might have seen a picture or two um, of some of the items that I'm I'm planning on working with. So number seven is going to be another dining vlog. It's going to be at Scranton's in Pascagoula. I am so excited to go there. It's like family catering and like taking big meals and home cooking and they are really popular. So um, that is definitely high on my list. Number seven is go to Scranton's in Pascagoula. 
if you've been there before, let me know what to order because um, a lot of these times I go in and I don't have a game plan together and I always love hearing y'all's suggestions. Um, number eight is actually something I've done before. This is something I've done before, but I think y'all would love it. It is iconic. It is a staple in the Mississippi Gulf Coast, and that's going to be the Biloxi Lighthouse. They actually offer tours. Um, you can go to the visitor center and tour it across the street and learn a little bit more about it, but you can take uh, tours up to the top of the lighthouse. It is some of the most spectacular views you've ever seen and it's just so special to learn about the history of again such an iconic landmark here on the mississippi gulf coast um so excited for this one it is fantastic the last time i went i wore a dress on accident um and trucked up all those stairs um the winding staircase that's up inside of the lighthouse and um, it gave me some real life experience to what all of the lighthouse keepers had to deal with. They had to lug the kerosene and stuff up those stairs, you know, to keep that going and, and keep it um, running for all of the ships and stuff. So um, I'm really excited to take y'all along for that. Speaking of chainsaw, you wanted to come for a visit. All right, number nine is going to be a goal for me for 2023. We are almost there, but I really would love to hit 1,000 subscribers. Again, um, I think this is the year and I'm, I'm holding out hope. So um, if you aren't already subscribing to the channel, be sure to like and subscribe so you can stay up to date and so you can get notifications for all this fun stuff that we're gonna have going on in 2023. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. And then number 10, it is one of the most popular activities here on the Mississippi Gulf Coast, and I can't believe I haven't done it yet, at least for a vlog, I haven't been out there for a while. I have my own set of tools that are perfect for this. Um, any guesses? No? I haven't been golfing in forever. There's so many stellar courses. People travel from all over the nation to come experience some of our golf courses. So I'm going to pick one or two and maybe break out the clubs and, and try it out. Um, I was part of like the golfing club in high school, so it's been quite a while. But I think being out in nature, you know, enjoying all of our scenery that we have to offer. There's a course even like close to the beach that has stellar views. Um, so... I think that's a that's a good goal. So um, that is my list for 2023. I am so excited to take you all along. Please stay tuned. Like and subscribe. Like I said, if you haven't already, help us get one of those um, cross off the list and uh, check back. My goal is to do videos every Tuesday, every Friday, and every Sunday. And I shoot to post them at 10 a.m. So if you don't hit that bell, you're going to want to check back on the channel every day around that time, Tuesdays, Fridays, and Sundays at 10 a.m. Um, we've got some fun videos coming up for you. I can't wait to share, but in the meantime, be sure to like and subscribe to stay up to date on more activities, attractions, and awesome things you can only do here on the Mississippi Gulf Coast.